Hello, I'm Dr. Taj Khan. I'm the Chief Plastic Surgeon at Edgewater and Hoboken Cosmetic and Laser Centers. So I'm here with you today to discuss a bit about Botox and also to demonstrate the injection. So I'm very comfortable giving Botox injections. I have over 15 years experience. Um, I provide very soft and natural results for all of my patients and they're very happy they keep coming back to me. So to demonstrate how comfortable I am in my expertise, I found a great candidate to inject and that would namely be myself. So today um, what I'm going to do is inject my forehead and I'm going to inject the lines between my eyebrows in the glabellar region and this is responsible for creating the 11s um, between the eyebrows. You can see how deep these lines get when I scowl. So Botox will, help, will work on the muscles to help relax this area and drape the skin flat in the area. The other area I'm going to eject is my forehead. So the frontalis muscle is the muscle up here responsible for raising the eyebrows, but it also is responsible for creating all these nasty transverse forehead lines which furrow and create that very wrinkled and sharp hay appearance of the forehead. So I'll inject those as well. So what I do is I always sterilize the skin with an alcohol swab. Make sure it's absolutely clean. I use sterile needles for all my injections. And I'm just going to gently dab this with a sterile gauze. So I use different concentrations of Botox as well just to um, provide the best aesthetic result possible. So I'll start with right between the eyebrow area. Excuse my arm if it gets in the way. But I'm just going to put some units right in the center here. And four units in that little injection point I just did between my eyebrows. You'll get a better view when I can start injecting the other areas. Okay. So that's eight units I just did between. And a little bit of bleeding like that is completely normal. And that will go completely away when I'm done. Okay, I'm going to inject these little muscles here now. And then just dab that up a bit between my brows. And then a little bit right here. You can see that. Okay. And it's going very nicely. And then I have about a few more units I'm going to put just on the side here. And then one right here. These are the muscles incidentally that are responsible for furring the brows. And so I just like to target them very nicely. I have to get a little closer in the mirror so I can see what I'm doing because I don't have my glasses on, but I can assure you that I can do this with my eyes closed at this point. And I'll just put a couple more units right between. Okay, perfect. So that's, when that starts to kick in, in a few days or so, that's going to relax these, these wrinkles right between the brows here. Okay, so I'm going to switch needles now and go, as you can see, all that little oozing and stuff. I'm going to go to my, uh, my forehead now. And you have to be careful not to create too much of a peak on the sides here. So what I do is I actually put a couple safety units on the side, and that will prevent it from peaking too much the brow. It's not for everyone, but in my case I need it. So I'm going to give a couple units there. Okay, that's going to help with the peak out there. And then over here, I'll give a little bit. Okay, good. 
and then I'll do 10 units up here. That's two, four, six, little spot there, that's eight, and then one little spot here in the center I like to do Perfect. <clears throat> I feel younger and more beautiful already. So um, thank you for watching. I will uh, make another video in a couple weeks after the full effect. And I see all my patients back in two weeks, by the way, in order to judge and see how they're doing. Um, sometimes you need to have an adjustment of a unit here or there just to make it completely perfect. But um, as you can see, it's a very straightforward procedure. It's quick. It's painless. And um, there's absolutely no substitute for Botox. So thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in my office. Bye-bye.